I love talking about advocacy because really, I don't think folks necessarily understand how it works because a lot of advocacy is done in the background. So explaining a little bit of what we do and how it impacts people I think is, is really beneficial to members. So in the advocacy world, we work with politicians at various levels, so municipal, provincial, and federal, to make sure that the rules and regulations around buying and selling and owning homes make sense. Uh, and if they don't make sense, we advocate for changes to make it easier to buy and sell. And we also advocate on affordable housing, from uh, shelters and supportive housing, through to rentals, through to purchase. It includes long-term care too. So we really need to make sure the whole spectrum is healthy to make sure every Nova Scotian has a place to call home. The NSAR has such a great relationship with many levels of government that you have an idea and you can take it to them and they will help you move it forward. Most of NSAR's advocacy is for the benefit of the public, so we're not going to pick an issue to advocate for unless it's an issue that's going to help consumers. Around 2014, 2015, we noticed there was a need. New homeowners were having trouble saving a down payment. So we thought, how can we help those people? And it took several years, but we worked with our committee of volunteers and we proposed a solution to the provincial government called the Down Payment Assistance Program. So these are down payment loans and you have 10 years to pay them back. It was January and we were slogging through the snow downtown Halifax, taking this little packet of information to every minister that we could get in touch with. It was the year that Stephen McNeil was um, running to become Premier and we put it forth and it was elected to go to the platform that he used uh, as part of his election. It was a pilot program in 2016 and then in 2019 it was finally made permanent and in 2020 they doubled the funding so there's 2.2 million dollars available. There's also the home buyers plan. So the home buyers plan allows uh, first time home buyers to withdraw out of their RRSP for a down payment on their home. This was actually increased about two years ago and so after about 10 years of advocacy we convinced the government to increase that limit so it's now $35,000 as a first time home buyer out of your RRSP. The Nova Scotia Association of Realtors has advocated for stronger resources so more Nova Scotians can make home ownership an attainable goal. That's why we introduced the new first-time home buyer incentive that will make home ownership more affordable for first-time buyers. Since we know housing is a spectrum and we know the spectrum isn't healthy, we know not every Nova Scotian has a safe place to call home. So I think the work that I'm most proud of is our report that we've done. It's called We All Play a Part and it's Realtors Solutions to Affordable Housing in Nova Scotia. And that lays out recommendations for the province on how to improve housing. Advocacy, especially during the pandemic, has been essential to members and their business. So when the pandemic started, there was a full shutdown on everything. People weren't allowed to do open houses. They weren't allowed to do viewings. We didn't know what this was gonna look like or how this was gonna impact business. I know realtors have been in this business 40 plus years. They have never seen anything like it. But now that we look back at it, we did such a great job of advocating for our province that everybody wanted to move here. When the border restrictions were put in place, we ran into some major problems because there were many people who had bought houses in Nova Scotia, knowing that we have such a great quality of life and affordable living, but they couldn't come to the province to close on their homes. Some of them had closed their homes in Ontario and were in the car with the moving van following or ahead of them and halfway to Nova Scotia and found out they couldn't come in. And you can imagine the hardship if you've got a dog and a cat and two little kids and you can't even get across the border to go to a hotel, let alone close your house. And the government, they rely on experts. So, and we're the real estate experts and our members are the real estate experts. And there was a two to three week stretch where we spoke with the government or public health every two to three days to try to sort out what made sense and make sure that people could get into their homes. And we've managed to give people outside of our province the kind of confidence to buy a home sight unseen. 
and I don't know that that is something that could have been done at any other period of time in the real estate industry. Getting to the highest level of government is getting increasingly common for NSAR and as a province, if we're going to grow and become more economically strong and harmonious, we want to attract and as many people as possible to our province by acquiring a reputation of a place where people want to be and work and grow together. The most important thing for members to know is that we're listening and we're working on behalf of them and their clients every day.